Hi there, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab and today in my continuing series on what's in the lab we're going to look at an Ingotene pylon tech system that's a three-phase power uh, off-grid or hybrid on-grid and in this case we're using it with the Garo EVSE, electric vehicle supply equipment. So it's a 22 kilowatt three-phase type 2 EV charging system running off three Pylon Tech 10 kilowatt hour batteries and three Ingotene 6 kilowatt hybrid inverters. It's pretty awesome. So let's go and check it out. Okay, so here we are in front of the uh, Ingotene Pylon Tech three-phase charging system. So there's actually three six kilowatt Ingotene inverters here. Uh, so one, two, three, and correspondingly three 10 kilowatt hour uh, battery packs. Now, these battery packs are stackable, each one roughly 50 volts. So as you go up, you can go up to seven of these in a stack to 350 volts. Uh, and a total of 24.86 kilowatt hours. So we've got just three, which is, rounds out to almost exactly 10 kilowatt hours of usable storage in these units. Now, um, these inverters are pretty interesting. They're kind of a hybrid of a hybrid. They're an off-grid inverter that can be used on-grid. Now, why I say they're an off-grid inverter is because these units actually have the ability to uh, start a generating set. So they've got a generator, uh, well they've got voltage-free contacts that can be used for generator start. Um, they can also be used for controlling loads, etc. Um, we're doing something interesting here. We're using one of the contacts to control a contactor that disconnects the loads when the batteries are flat. So why would I do that? You know, the inverter will just shut down when the batteries are flat. Well, a special reason actually. What we're doing here is a bit different. We're connecting these three-phase in, uh, configurated inverters to a microgrid. And the microgrid has a generator backup and uh, an 80 kilowatt hour power plus energy battery pack behind it. But we don't actually want to use the microgrid batteries if we can avoid it. So for electric vehicle charging, these are a dedicated amount of energy storage that once it is empty, the electric vehicle supply equipment, which over here is the, the Garo, so this is the Garo uh, EVSE, um, this unit will be disconnected when the batteries, these batteries down here, are empty. And so that way we can avoid using any of the precious microgrid battery system. Or if you happen to be off-grid completely, it won't start your backup generator to charge your car. Basically it'll dump, in this case, um, 10 kilowatts per phase. So depending on what type of EVSE you've got and what sort of electric vehicle you've got, you could probably dump 10 to 30 kilowatt hours with this system uh, into your vehicle and be assured not to use any grid power or in the case of off-grid to start a, back, a backup generator. Now let me talk a little bit more about um, the Inca team inverters. Now these inverters here I said they're a little bit unusual, a little bit special, uh, in that they, they've got an ability to have a very large amount of PV connected to them compared to their um, AC rating. Now they've got a, a 6 kilowatt AC output rating, but they can actually charge the batteries at 50 amps at whatever the battery voltage is. So, you know, approximately 6 kilowatts of charge and 6 kilowatts of AC output, which means if you put around about 12 plus kilowatts of solar on these things, uh, they will really crank your system. They'll be able to supply all your AC power loads as well as charging your batteries for nighttime use. So this little system here could actually have about 40 to 45 kilowatts of solar connected to it, <laughs> which seems ridiculous for um, you know a, a relatively small system but remember ridiculous is what you make it if your objective is to use only renewable energy and solar PV solar panels that is are becoming so cheap why not use as much solar as you can uh, to offset all of your daytime consumption and make sure that every day you've got a full battery system it almost makes having a backup generator optional. Now, I'll be careful, careful, careful saying that because you've got to realize some days won't be perfectly sunny. It might be just terrible weather and you will run out of power. What are you going to do then? 
but it's a design decision and it's becoming more popular than I would have expected, which is no generator backup. I think this would be called, um, I'm prepared to risk it and I'm gonna keep a close track on my energy use to ensure that uh, I avoid that sort of system shutdown as much as possible. So that's the, the Inga team storage inverter. Uh, combined and by the way it's a, a single phase inverter but we've configured them here for the first time this is a, an R&D project with Pylon Tech and Inga team together to come up with a solution we're going to run a three phase water pump off it very shortly we've done it, a test on it it works it rotates correctly so we know that the uh, the phase orientation is perfect and uh, we're going to see what else it can do so that's a, a little brief overview of the new three-phase electric vehicle charging station here at the Smart Energy Lab.